Selamat pagi semuanya. Hi beautiful friends, it's Jasmine and welcome back to another vlog here in beautiful Bali. Saya baru bangun dan sekarang jam setengah tujuh pagi dan hari ini saya mau berbicara sedikit bahasa Indonesia, sedikit bahasa Inggris, sedikit bahasa Cina. Just for fun, I haven't done a vlog in several languages for a long time. Sekarang saya akan pergi ke Tegulalang Rice Field and do a photo shoot. I'm very excited to take you along as well. Tegulalang is so beautiful. I've been before, so let's get. 各位，我差一点忘了，在巴黎的时候出门之前一定要擦防晒霜。像我妈妈每次说，一定要保护好皮肤。走吧。Ini desa ya? Iya desa. Kalalam. Di Melbourne ada pedesaan seperti ini? Cerak seperti ini. Tidak seperti ini. Iya. Di Australia banyak orang Indonesia di sana ya? Ya ada sejumlah, tapi tidak ada banyak. Iya, masih ada banyak siswa di sekolah yang belajar bahasa Indonesia. Ada pasar di sini. Pasar tradisional. Pada Australia ada pasar seperti ini. Ya ada pasar juga. Ya ya seperti ini ya. Saya sekarang datang di Tegalong Rice Terrace and oh my goodness, this is just magical. Firstly, this morning was quite interesting. It took me a while to find the driver, but nonetheless, I have finally made it. It is just absolutely magical, and I haven't seen the Tegalong here during the sunrise hours. It's just so. It just feels so peaceful and calming, and there aren't too many people here at all either. Just amazing. Oh, careful. <laughs> Usually you do need to pay an entrance ticket, but for some reason today I didn't. There was no one there. Maybe if you come early in the morning you don't have to. But I do highly recommend that if you come, come early. It's just so, so beautiful. I'm going to keep saying that, but it really, really is like what that can just speak for itself. Mother Earth is so incredible. You can hear the sounds of nature as well. The birds chirping, you can hear the strings. Truly, every time you're in nature, it just brings you this really great sense of relaxation and calmness. It's so important for your mind, body and soul to just be in nature. Surround yourself with this gift that Mother Earth has provided for us. I can't get over it. The sky's so blue as well. It's just a beautiful day. Just the detail that God put into everything. But this place is actually really, really big. You can walk around for a very long time, just around the whole entire rice field, and you can see little secret paths and everything. A little nest there as well. You can take in hashtag Insta photo. <laughs> you can walk along the edges here. There's a photo of my Whenever I'm up to find the sunset, a flavor of a memory. Whenever I'm the stars above are shining Then I know I'll never be alone Wherever all my wishes may be heading A part of us will never leave Oh, wherever in the world you may be hiding In a while I know you come just been taking some photos and right behind me there is the barley swing so you can do that also and there's also little stalls here so you can get coconut water, juices, anything you like. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? So if you hear that loud whee sound, it's the barley swing. So I've just finished the photo shoot now with Ren who kindly reached out to me on Instagram so thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. He's such Pleasure. an amazing photographer. If you would like to find a photographer here in Bali, I highly recommend Reno. I'll leave his <laughs> details in the description box below. Thank you again. Thank Absolutely you. amazing. <laughs> vlogging in several languages today which is mainly to berlatih bahasa Indonesia dan liensi hoda chongwen and I know that many of you are also currently learning a language or interested in learning one so today I'd love to share with you Lingoda who is sponsoring and collaborating with me in today's video and also as you may know since I am traveling around the world now one of the many many things I love about this experience is that it really allows me to grow my understanding of the world and just gain more perspective and 
an appreciation of all the different cultures of everywhere I go. And I've definitely, definitely realized that when you are able to speak the local language of whichever place you travel to, it definitely allows you to have a more authentic and memorable experience. This is why I always encourage you to learn a bit of the language of wherever you're going to beforehand. So if you are considering learning a language, I highly recommend the online language learning platform called Lingoda, which does offer French, German, Spanish, English, and business English. I also want to share with you the Lingoda Language Marathon, which is coming up on the 27th of May to the 24th of August, 2019. This is a great challenge where you can take a one language class every day for three months or 15 days in a month for a half marathon. And this is truly one of the best ways to boost your fluency and improve in any skill when you practice daily and when you truly challenge yourself. Also, the great thing about this is that if you do complete the challenge, Lingoda will refund you 100% for the full marathon or 50% for the half marathon. I really love the Lingoda method because every day you get to study and speak with native speaking teachers in small group classes with amazing learning materials provided. You can learn at any time, anywhere, and you can also download the lessons to review later, which truly makes it very convenient. And I can definitely guarantee that this language marathon will truly take your language skills to the next level. From my own experience, I know that expanding your language skills has so, so many benefits from improving your brain function, to making new friends around the world, to easier communication, especially when traveling, to creating more job opportunities as well. In fact, before when I was still working casual jobs, I was actually hired at my first job and second one, which first one was an ice cream shop, second one was a jewelry store because I could speak Mandarin. And for example, because I speak Indonesian, I've been able to speak with a lot of the locals here and just learn a lot more about their lives which is just so special. So if you do sign up for the language marathon before May the 13th using the discount code in the description box below you do get a 100% discount on the entry fee plus it secures your spot and you get an automatic three month subscription. Lingoda will also refund you your intuition in full if you do attend the agreed number of classes in each marathon per month which is an amazing way to immerse yourself into the language every day. So let me know in the comments down below which languages you are currently learning and if you are also going to be doing the marathon as well I am super interested to know. If you are learning every day, you will definitely be very fast. So I'm going to go to hotel and now I'm going to eat the pagi. So time to nourish and refill the body after a whole morning of walking around the rice field. I have a plate of pisang, nanas, papaya, watermelon, some lime and also fresh papaya juice which I use my own reusable straw so I always bring around with me reusable cutlery no matter where I travel to. I'm just hoping the monkeys don't come by. I think they're gone now, but... <laughs> And I just also made my own cup of muesli here. So there's rolled oats, coconut, dried fruit, nuts. And I actually got this bag here yesterday from the Coco supermarket. And that's one of the main supermarkets here in Bali. And also, chocolate. Like 100%. The only ingredient in here is cacao bean. So yes, it's bitter, but I really like that bitter taste. And you're having this is actually really good for you. There's lots of antioxidants in just cacao as well. <laughs> That's the bar there. Let me know if you like bitter chocolate as well. There's just something about it. Mm. Also, when we were driving towards the Tagalalang today, we were driving through some villages and something just suddenly hit me. I just felt suddenly so, so humbled and just so grateful for the life that I have. And this isn't coming from an ego sense that, oh, this is how they live, but truly, like, this is what they know. As I drove past, I locked eyes with an old grandpa. I suddenly saw my own grandpa in here. I just felt so heartwarmed. It was like I was meant to drive past him. The people in the villages and just in general the Balinese are really happy people and it's because they live so simple lives and they believe in karma and they're very family oriented as well and they have all these ceremonies and traditions all the time and honestly I'm quite surprised at how much Indonesian I still retain because as you may know I studied Indonesian for an entire school I am like class 7 sampai class 12 tapi setelah lulus sekolah saya tidak berlatih atau belajar bahasa Indonesia lagi tapi Masi ingapanya, yeah? It just gets to show that when you do practice and practice for a long period of time, whatever language it is, you really do retain a lot. And of course, if you want to keep on enhancing it, then you do have to practice every single day. And just being in the environment where people speak the language is so, so helpful. 
Generally, I don't know why, but when I start speaking Bahasa, the locals, they say it's pintar sekali. Maybe they don't have any expectations of foreigners speaking Indonesian here, and that's why they're surprised, maybe. I don't know if anyone has seen it, but every day I have this necklace. And this necklace is actually my mom's. Before I go, my mom gave me this. This is my mom when she left China at 20 years old. My mom gave me this before my mom and my mom gave me this. And because I'm 20 years old, 现在也二十岁，然后我也离开了家，妈妈把这个戒指送给了我。你好，小猴子。好可爱，<笑>这里有很多很多猴子，每次都会在这里跑。我不敢开门，<笑>这个门一定要锁着。Oh no! Oh my god! She just drank out of my cup. Hey, 猴子 Oh my goodness! Wait, wait. Oh my goodness! <gasps> I just totally caught that on camera. Um. That'll be okay though. But if you're gonna be near monkeys in Bali, don't leave your cutlery or anything outside. Now you know. They're actually very cheeky. Sekarang saya datang di sebuah restoran yang bernama The Waron dan saya sekarang memesan curry dengan nasi. Kelihatan enak sekali. I love curries, as you may know. In this curry, there is coconut milk and tempeh, carrot, broccoli, green peas. A whole bunch of goodies. Apparently, this is corn rice. There's a bit of corn inside. That's all. But it was made of corn or something. It's like a piece of corn. <laughs> it's actually a turmeric flavor coconut milk as well. This is so good. Really nice restaurant as well. And just in front of me, there is a nice little fountain. So I have a nice view here. I can guarantee if you come to Bali, you will definitely, definitely have some sort of dish with tempeh in it. I didn't know tempeh originates from Indonesia. So I just ordered another plate of these Vietnamese spring rolls. The portion size was a little small for the curry. It has some rice noodles, cucumber, lettuce, and all the veg with an amazing sauce. Just very messy to eat. As long as I don't get it on my dress, it's fine. If you come to Bali, it's very easy to eat. If you come to Bali, it's very easy to eat. <laughs> Just at Ibu store near my accommodation now. I'm gonna get these pizza. Hi Ibu. Hello. Ah, tirat. Berapa harga? Dua puluh lima belas. Yeah, monyet. Ada monyet. Sana nanti lihat. Yeah, yeah. Baru di sana aja duduk. Yeah, yeah. Iya. Saya takut monyet. Iya, banyak monyet. Ada tanya. Kia khususnya di hotel saya. Iya. Iya. So I've made it back to the hotel in one piece with the bananas in my bag without any monkeys attacking so that's a plus. So I'm going to be ending the vlog here today beautiful friends. Tonight I'm actually going to be taking an early night sleep because tomorrow morning is a very very exciting day. I'm going to be climbing a volcano and hiking it and this has been something I've always wanted to do. And also an update on the motorbike injury. It is healing even more now and it's basically just a scab. Probably will leave a scar but I think all scars are beautiful in their own way because they all tell a story and honestly even though we had a photo shoot today I do not want anything to be photoshopped at all because it's part of me. If you have a scar, never ever be ashamed of it. You don't need to hide it or cover it at all. It makes you you, your uniqueness and it's just a part of your beautiful story and life journey. But I really hope that this vlog today can inspire you to keep learning languages and to pursue what you're really interested in and if you are interested in learning languages then Lingoda is an amazing platform that can help you in your journey as well and any resources are always great to amplify your journey, help you to reach your goals because it can help you to stay accountable as well which is so so important when it comes to manifesting your goals too and if you did like this video today do give it a thumbs up so i know and hopefully inspired you to just explore and travel as well and you really never know what you can find and to just also seek beauty and joy and awe and wonder in everything the more you appreciate things the more the universe gives you to appreciate and if you're also not yet part of our beautiful community you're more than welcome to join by clicking subscribe just below here i am honestly so grateful for you all you're all so sweet thank you again and i am so excited for the next vlog so i'll see you in the next bali one take care beautiful friends i love you it's rainy i feel so fresh though does anyone else just love the feeling of rain falling onto their skin <laughs> Thank you.
I've got the lyrics, but there's so much out there. Then on else watch Qing Sheng Sheng Yi Meng Meng. I remember watching this when I was a little child and I really liked it. Just suddenly thought of it. Walaupun sekarang di Bali musim kemarau, masih ada hujan setiap hari. Mungkin selama sejam atau dua jam tidak ada monyet sekarang. 